Welcome to our Kotlin programming guide. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with constants in Kotlin. Our viewer wants to know, how is it recommended to create constants in Kotlin and what's the naming convention? Let's break it down and explore the best practices together. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. In Kotlin, creating constants is straightforward, but there are specific recommendations to follow. Let's explore the best practices. First, we have the option to use the const keyword. This is the preferred way to declare compile time constants. Next, we can use val to declare a read-only property. However, this does not create a compile time constant. It's important to note that naming conventions for constants in Kotlin recommend using uppercase letters with underscores. In summary, for constants in Kotlin, use const val for compile time constants and follow the naming convention of uppercase letters. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Kotlin for creating constants, use const val for primitive types and strings. For example, you can define an empty string like this. Const val empty string equals an empty string. For other types like arrays, use val with the JVM field annotation. For instance, you can create an empty array of strings like this. At JVM field val empty string array equals an empty array. When defining a constants class, make it internal and private to prevent instantiation. Use companion objects for grouping related constants. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A recommended way to create constants in Kotlin is to organize them in a single file using a class structure. This avoids the need for companion objects, making it more efficient and similar to Java's constants class. You can access these constants in a structured way, which enhances code readability. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Kotlin, you can create constants using val. Unlike Java, you don't need to use capital letters to distinguish constants from variables. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.